I uh, have a lot of candidates here today that I want to introduce, uh, not in any particular order, but Ann Brickley. Are you here, Ann? Republican. 
he had an iconic race uh, 10 months ago that was followed nationally. Uh, he came from being virtually unheard of to winning a, uh, uh, a seat that was uh, three weeks before he won it would have thought it was, uh, people would have thought it was impossible for a Republican to win that seat. Uh, he rode the same way uh, we are riding, but he also was an incredibly uh, good candidate and somebody who stayed on message, uh, somebody who sort of encapsulated all the uh, anger and concern that people have about where this country's going and where his state and our state are going. Uh, so I'm very pleased to have Scott Brown here helping out. And Senator Scott Brown, please come and talk to us. to be here in Glastonbury. I've actually been here quite a few times. I've done the Shamrock Duathlon many years. Uh, you know, it's not at the Irish American Club, and uh, you know, it's good to be uh, back. And I know you're just here because you don't want to do yard work. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you're here to help Tom and, and uh, really just be part of something historic. Something's happening throughout this country. Uh, something that started on January 19th that's continued on and that's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <coughs> Because I'll tell you what, everywhere I go throughout the country, not only in Massachusetts, but in Connecticut, New Hampshire, which I was uh, in New Hampshire last night, whether I'm in Washington State or California or Illinois, people are hurting, they're tired, they're tired of the high taxes, the overspending, the out of control debt that we're incurring. Let me just give you an example. When I got there, $11.95 trillion national debt, now that's 12 zeros, folks. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. right now, about seven months later, it's about 13.2 trillion. No way. I mean, that's unbelievable. When you're looking at, at, at our kids and our grandkids, now we're looking at our great grandkids. How are they going to repay that back? And I've been blessed. I, you know, and folks, some of the folks came in. I have a, a law school friend of mine that I haven't seen in many, many years here as well, so it's good to see some familiar faces. A lot of people said, oh, I helped you. And you came here. I sent you money and I made phone calls. I'm honored you're here. I agree with this guy. You know. I'm honored to be here to help Tom, to help the people of Connecticut, to send a very powerful message to Hartford and to Washington that they've had enough, that you're ready to draw a line in the sand and say, all right, enough of the spending, enough of the deficit spending, enough of the taxes, enough of the government interference in our lives. Yeah. No, no, and this isn't about Republicans, folks, because if it's just about Republicans, he loses. Okay, it's about Republicans, Democrats, unaffiliated voters, people who are just, you know, don't care about a little itty bitty letter at the end of our names. They care about good government, fiscal responsibility.